Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.44 of Saudi Kubuk. So, the question is use mass analysis to obtain I0. So, I0 is here. And let's start by drawing the mesh or loops. So, mesh and loops is the same. So, I will make the loops here. This is S loop number 1 and this loop here is loop number two and this loop here is loop number three so we are going to work from loop one loop two and then loop three now at loop one let's take a look at loop one and we are using kvl which states that the sum of the voltage in a loop is equal to zero so we start at loop one here and this is 5 ohm resistance so first we start at 5 ohm resistance and because this is resistance we need to convert it to voltage by multiplying it by the current the only current that pass through this resistance is I1 and then we move on to this resistance 1 and we multiply it by the current that passed through it so I1 is the focus of this loop but it's also passed by I2 on the opposite direction so minus I2 and then this is current source and we don't know how to convert this current into voltage so I just make this as V let's name it 1 3 V 1 3 so I just leave V 1 3 here V 1 3 and that will equal to 0 and now let's do some simple math here 5 plus 1 is 6 I 1 minus I 2 plus V I3 is equal to 0 and let's save this as equation number 1 now let's move on to loop number 2 now we have at loop 2 and again we use KVL which is the sum of the voltage in a loop is equal to 0 and we start from this resistance here 2 ohm and the only current that passed through it is I2 and then we go to this voltage source and it flows from positive to negative so the sign is positive and it's already voltage so 90 volt and then this resistance here 4 ohm and the focus of this loop is I2 but it has I3 in the opposite direction so minus I3 and then we still have one more component there so I will have one and the main focus is I2 but I1 is passing through on the opposite direction I1 and this will equal to zero okay now we do simple math again so i1 is only minus 1 and i2 is 2 plus 4 plus 1 it is 7 i2 and then for i3 it is minus 4 i3 and then for 90 I move to the right hand side so I will have minus 90 so I will have this as equation number 2 now let's move on to loop number 3 at loop 3 again we use KVL which state that the sum of voltage in a loop is equal to 0 and we start from this current source but we have no way to convert it into 
voltage so I will just write it as it is V13 but it is flowing from minus to plus so the sign will be minus and then we move on to this resistance here 4 and the focus is I3 but it has I2 in the opposite direction and then for the last component we have this voltage source and it's flowing from positive to negative so the sign will be positive and it is 80 volt and that will equal to zero now we have this and we will do simple algebra here so for i2 i have minus 4 i2 and for i3 i have plus 4 i3 and then we have minus v13 and for 8 it is not 80 it's 180 so for this one i will move to the right hand side so i will have minus 180 and let's save this as equation number three so we have three equations but we have four variables we have i1 i2 i3 and v i3 so we need one more equations so we take a look at the fact that this is a current source and it's flowing up so that 45 ampere is equal to the current that flowing up i3 and the current that flowing down i1 and okay, let's make the 45 to the right hand side and let's rewrite it here so i will have i3 minus i1 is equal to 45 and this is as equation number four but we can rewrite this as minus i1 plus i3 okay so we have four equation one two three four with four variables so we can make the matrix and solve it using matlab so let's erase this and let's make these equations into its matrix form so let's start by drawing some brackets here so for equation one i have the coefficient of i1 is six the coefficient of i2 is minus one the coefficient of i3 is zero and the coefficient of v13 is one so i will have this matrix and this is i1 i2 i3 and v13 now i have this equations and i will have minus one seven minus four and then for vi3 it is zero and at loop 3 we have this equation so i will have for i1 it is 0 for i2 it is minus 4 for i3 it's 4 and for vi3 it's minus 1 and then for this one this minus 1 for i1 for i0 i2 is 0 for i3 it's 1 and then for v13 it is 0 and this will equal to this is 0 and this is minus 90 and this is minus 180 and this is 45 now we have to solve this matrix and I'm not going to solve it manually but I will plug this into MATLAB and I will tell you the result so I will have I1 is minus 46 ampere I2 is minus 20 ampere I3 is minus 1 ampere and V13 is 256 volt and the question is obtain I0 so here I will have I0 
I0 is this current minus this current. So it is I1 minus I2. So I1 is minus 46 and I2 is minus 20. So I will have this equations and I will have this one and I will have minus 26 ampere. So here is the final answer and hopefully I did not make any mistake and thanks for watching. Thank you.